DJ Dynamite 36 here. Today we're going to build a facade. Nothing fancy, uh, nothing really lights or panels or anything in it like that. It's going to be a plain and simple facade. Um, I'll show you all the materials that you're going to need to do, how you can get those materials, uh, give you an idea of where you can get those materials, and uh, show you all the tools and everything else that you're going to need to uh, to do this thing. It should be a pretty quick build. So, all right, first thing you want to get is plywood. Uh, it's easy just to go to either a Lowe's or a Home Depot and pick a uh, eight foot sheet of half inch plywood out. Um, if you're going to paint the facade and just use only paint, I recommend that you get the, the highest grade possible of plywood that they have there. And you may still need to sand the, uh, the whole sheet uh, to make sure it's, it's a paintable surface. Um, anyways, get a whole sheet, have them cut it. Um, have, the, have them cut it to 30 inches by 48 do two of those panels, two 30 by 48s and two 17 by 48s and that will give you your four panels that you'll use for the facade. Also pick up a uh, three quarter by three inch eight foot piece of, uh, of this big trim wood and have them cut that in half for you as well and that will give you all the wood that you're going to need for the, uh, for the facade we're building today. If we look down here these are all the materials that you're going to need and the tools that you're going to need. Um, spray paint, I'm using purple. You guys can use whatever flavor you like. Um, if you're going to put carpet on it, uh, high temperature performance trim adhesive bonds. This stuff works great on carpet uh, and wood. It bonds it really well and makes a nice wood finish. Uh, hot glue gun, glue sticks for the edges of the carpet where it pulls around for the facade. Uh, screws, of course, to screw everything in. You're going to need nine, six inch. Uh, hinges. You want to get eight of these little rubber feet. These are for the bottom of the facade. Um, I put these on all my facades, and I'll tell you what, they really keep them in place. They really help help from uh, stop them slide around. Um, if you can find them, little half inch brackets just to kind of go over the the edge of the wood. This will help if you if you're really active with your facade and you're using it day in day out or night in night out. Um, it'll help the edges if they fall on the edges. It's not going to crush that plywood on the end of it. So if you can find those. Uh, it's a good idea to use them. And of course, uh, speaker carpet. Um, I got this from your autotrimstore.com. Um, every facade I've built, that's who I use for the, uh, for the adhesive as well as the uh, carpet. So uh, I'm not sure what the carpet number, item number is or whatever. You're going to have to find that on your own. I'll give you the website. But um, so that's about it. Uh, really, I've already kind of started doing some painting on some stuff, but I'll walk you through everything else and uh, show you how to put it together and see how it comes out. Alright, so after you have all your panels painted and your uh, one by three or your half by three pieces painted, um, you're going to want to attach the one by threes to the uh, larger panels and uh, put about as many screws as you can in there because you want this thing to last for a long time. Alright, so once you've cut all your carpet to fit, um, flip it over and put a couple staples, about eight staples, just down in order to hold that on one side. So that way when you flip your carpet over, you've got something to kind of pull and press it down onto. Um, what you want to do with the adhesive, spray adhesive, is just make sure you get the perimeter of it. Uh, spray that pretty well and then just kind of do a light coat over the, uh, over the rest of it. down on top of that glue, you're going to want to grab a, you know, a light board or something and kind of stretch this and push it in at the same time. So you can kind of stretch that carpet around so it adheres really well to that board. Right, next we want to take a uh, hot glue gun and go along this area right here and then right here as well and just kind of do that as we go along. You don't want to lay out a full spread of glue because it'll dry long before you ever get to pull the carpet over there. So just 
doing increments as you go down. Alright, now after you get all the panels carpeted uh, and get them painted, you should get your glue uh, on the side of these really well. It's kind of hard to cut this fabric and get it perfect uh, lined up, or I just didn't take the time to do it. Uh, actually, nice. but anyway, it's going to be behind, so no one's going to see it. But um, once you get all that done, it's time to add the hardware to it, get all your pieces together. I've already put some of these hinges on, you kind of see how this is going to up. I had these pieces here is for this, so I had that even square part. Uh, if you hold it up, I'll show you that here in a second. But uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and put on the other hinges and then the feet and some brackets where I think you're going to need them. rubber feet, they've got a little metal washer inside of them. Uh, it's really easy. You just take a small screw, stick it right down in there, and there's a screw right into the bottom of that. Just kind of help the uh, stabilize the facade. I put some of these brackets up. I uh, was here to kind of hold that curve in place one thing and maybe add a little decorative kind of touch to it. Um, what I'm going to do around is this will always probably slide in with this side. So I'm going to put some uh, some brackets on that to maybe you know, to keep that carpet off the uh, whatever I'm sliding in. So we're done with it. Uh, hindsight, the purple maybe wasn't the best idea. The carpet and the black would have blended in a lot better, but uh, so it's going to be facing me and covered with the table and everything else. So I'm not too worried about it. So now you're done, it just folds up. So that's a wrap on the do-it-yourself DJ facade. Um, honestly, it took me probably all time combined, because uh, I split it up into two different days. It probably took about four, four hours maybe um, to get everything done once I had all the